Today I stole a horse. Well, I was watching a video the other day and in my recommended I saw a Wilbur video titled I robbed my subscribers realm. And I thought, hmm, could I do something like this but in Star Stable? And that's when I came up with this idea. If Jack sucks at life can claim that he stole KSI's diamond play button, then I can claim I stole your horses through this method. <laughs> Two years ago, I was also quite a small creator with around 200 subscribers, and now I'm the biggest Australian Star Stable YouTuber. What the heck? Thank you guys literally so much. Words cannot describe my gratification. Is that is that a word? And my appreciation for you guys genuinely. I'm blown away every single day. Like, what the heck? What the heck? The past two years have felt absolutely unreal. However, I will never forget my roots. Supporting small creators is something that I've done in the past and I definitely want to do more of in the future as well. Anyways, with all of that over, how on earth am I going to steal your horses? Oh look, it's my YouTube channel and oh my gosh, is that a red subscribe button? Maybe you Scroll down below or click on my YouTube and see, do you have this weird red button as well? You know what? Let's go ahead and- oh, there we go. All is better in the world. Every single month, I do a giveaway where I give away one star coin for every subscriber that I gain. So if you want to add another star coin to the giveaway bundle, go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's completely free and you can always unsubscribe. What am I, a Minecraft YouTuber now? Okay, let's get into it. Over here on my YouTube channel, if you click on community, you can see I keep you guys updated on lots of stuff. Cat pool, oh my gosh, I have a cat anyways. And I put this here, attention create attention creators if you made a video buying the new welsh ponies comment below do not post a link because youtube will remove your comment yeah don't post links in the comment section also don't do hashtags and everything because youtube autobot actually picks it up and deletes your comment and i can't even see it very sad i miss them as i've already said this is kind of a way to support some smaller creators in the community and support some of my subscribers i then went ahead through all of the comments that i got and i tried my hardest to pick out just one video but in the end i just couldn't do it already i feel so absolutely bad because I just I want to support so many people so I want to try and make more videos supporting smaller creators and people in the community but I couldn't I couldn't choose all of your videos. I went ahead and we're gonna be buying three horses today because I could not make my mind up and I could not just choose one video. So let's go ahead and look to see what horses we are stealing today. I haven't actually really described how this video is working. Um, it's fine. <laughs> Here we have a smaller YouTuber called Maddie Strawberry Stra Strawberry Poor. <laughs> so sorry. And they made a video called Buying the Welsh Pony. And we're just gonna jump forward a little bit until they actually buy the horse because I don't want to like steal their content and watch the whole video you know i'm already stealing their horse i feel like that's enough come back i will hopefully have made a decision oh my gosh your accent is literally amazing can i say anyone from like the uk area of the world like just that area in general you guys have the literal best accent i think about 75 percent of the youtube's youtubers that i watch like on the regular are literally from that area of the world because i just what, I, what can I say? I like the accent. Okay, I am now back and I have finally made a decision. Let's see which decision this is. The white one over here. The white one? Okay. Yes, I, I've already chosen and watched these videos, so I kind of already know what horses are buying. I didn't look at the names though, so the names are still a mystery to me. Um, Now I've got to name it, which is probably an even more difficult decision. I agree with that statement. <laughs> I've watched Encanto recently and I've... I'm obsessed. Ah, <sighs> if you've been to one of my live streams, man. Everyone always talks about Encanto and Kanto. I haven't watched it. I don't have Disney Plus. I'm not rich enough for that, okay? <laughs> everyone keeps talking about it, and everyone in the chat then starts talking about we don't talk about Bruno, and I'm there not being able to read chat because they're all talking these rep. Okay, welcome home, fairy or Fifi, in three. Two, one, yay! So the first horse on the list is the white Welsh pony called Fairy Sparkle, aka Fifi. Does that make anyone else think about the what's it called? Like Fifi the flower fit the flower Fifi the flower. Why did I type follower? Hang on. <laughs> what's the movie called? The flower tot. Oh my bad. Fifi. 
Did anyone else watch that? I didn't watch it on the regular. I think my sister watched it more than I did. Anyways, let's look at the next one. This is by YouTuber Mackenzie Pinkgale, and this is actually their first YouTube video. So kudos for you for jumping into the deep end, doing what you want to do. Very good, very good. Once again, not going to steal your content. Let's just jump forward. I think I like this one the most. I think I'm gonna buy it. So this is the, I think it's called a Red Roan. I saw someone else, I was watching another YouTuber and they were like, I don't know what color to call this horse. And I was like, hang on, no. Usually I'm the one that doesn't know the names of horses. So maybe it's not a Red Roan and I'm wrong because this other person didn't know the coat color. Uh <laughs> I think I have a name already kind of picked out and also it has kind of greenish eyes so I definitely appreciate that because Peridot I believe is like a greenish gemstone or something. So oopsies, Mackenzie has named this horse Peridot. I'm not even gonna lie to you as whenever I see this name I think of period T. Yeah, <laughs> but Peridot. Let me look at it up. I can't speak today. It is. It's like a little green gemstone. Wow. I believe it really suits this horse. I really... Oh, I, I think it does as well. That is actually a really good name suggestion. Let's buy it. Uh, three, two, one, go! Can confirm Mackenzie did buy the horse. So, second horse is the red roan named Peridot, which I also agree. Like, I, I see your vision. That horse definitely does look like a Peridot. And the final horse we are stealing today is from Sandy Darkfall. And they are buying the liver chestnut, I think this one is. Wait, so they did also buy the black one, as you can see here. But I already own the black one. Moira chose that one out for me if you want to go watch watch that video so obviously we're not going to buy repeats and then they also bought the red roan I think which obviously we've already got our peri dot so we're gonna buy the one that we don't have <laughs> which is the liver chestnut and I think this one was something with P that I saw oh, I was phoenix I think phoenix okay phoenix okay awesome so the liver chestnut is phoenix i cannot go get over how fast you like bought the horses which isn't a bad thing i think it's just to do with preparation i think you already had the names chosen out beforehand cannot relate i think i've done that like twice in my lifetime <laughs> but those are the three horses we're going to be quote unquote stealing today <laughs> all right so let's call for pickup and head over to the hermit's cottage to collect our horses i mean wait um we're not buying these horses we're stealing them from all across the world we kind of have like traveled all over the world for this video right because maddie i think it was was from uk area look i'm not 100% that good at accents so they might not have been from the uk please don't attack me <laughs> So we've gone to the UK. I think Mackenzie's accent sounded kind of like American to me. And then I think Sandy is from Sweden. So we've really traveled all over the world. Should we do it in the order? Oh, I've already come to the Hermit's Cottage. So I think we're going to buy Perry... Peridot? I, I still think of it as period T. So let's make this one. Oops, not Ace. Let's make it blank. The blank thing was the best feature to ever come. Two star stable period T. <laughs> Someone stop me. Someone please. Perry dot. There we go. We have Perry dot here. So oh wait, why am I scared? Okay. Mackenzie, I've come for your horse. Mackenzie, you better look out. <laughs> Sorry, Mackenzie. Congratulations on your new horse. Your new- wait, I was a little- okay, your new horse is now in your staple. Thank you. Definitely a new- de I stole- I stole the horse. Okay, and now we're gonna come over here and buy Phoenix. I don't have enough star coins for this video. Did you see my face just drop just then? <laughs> I don't have enough star coins for this video. I don't think there's a special on at the moment for star coins. Right, let's just buy this horse, Phoenix. Sandy, I better lock those stable doors a little tighter next time. Oh! The new horse is now in your stable. Thank you so much. All right. 542. <sighs> is this how... Oh my gosh. I haven't had this feeling in a long time. I've spent... I haven't bought star coins in quite a while because I just haven't been spending as many because I've been a little like non-consistent on YouTube because life, life has happened, man. I'm torn between whether I... I don't... 
I, I can't justify buying star coins without there being double star coins or even a special. I think this Wednesday the new magical horses are coming out and they're coming out with spiders and a lot of the time we get a star coin bundle which has the spiders and the star coins included. Honestly it's not as good of a deal as double star coins but it's better than just buying straight star coins. I think we're gonna have to leave Fifi behind. This is a uh, rubber oopsie daisies. Um, <laughs> Oh no, I didn't even think about this. I knew I was running low on star coins, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> oh no. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. We'll just, we'll buy this horse in another video at another point, you know, just a little bit of a robber failure. Oh, I was going to dress up for this video. I completely forgot. I was going to like dress in all black like I'm robbing horses. Man, oh man. Anyways, okay, well, let's go to the home stable and see the horses that we successfully horse napped. Horse, you know how, like, there's kidnapping, right? So when you, like, take a cat, you jokingly say catnap. It doesn't work with horse napping. That was really random. I'm so sorry. It's not letting me take Everboat out of the stable. Wait, it's not letting me use the stable any- I love star stable glitches. There we go. Here we go. Okay, they're over this side phoenix right here this horse is actually really pretty very very pretty one thing whilst i make the outfit that i wanted to like quickly talk about is the feeling of oh what someone okay i was listening to a podcast i love podcasts and they were talking about it like imposter syndrome for like uh youtubers and it's like you just feel like you don't deserve any of it and it's something that honestly like i think a lot of youtubers would feel it, like i genuinely i talked about this on my recent live stream but i just sometimes don't even feel like a youtuber like i think it's also because i got like the star stable community is completely different to those who are in say the minecraft community and stuff and i feel like it's a the star stable community has a younger demographic than some other games things like that which means like I would love, I was saying this on the live stream, I would love to go to some sort of convention at some point uh, to meet people, meet other content creators and things like that. I think that would be super fun. But I think probably because of the spicy cough COVID, it's kind of has like stopped things like that from happening. But yeah, I think that I, uh, I just don't know why, 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 I don't think in the past two years it's ever even sunk in that I'm, I'm a YouTuber, you know, that kind of thing. So I don't know. I just wanted to talk about that because like, I feel like some people just like, I went to, I'm going to university, completely new state for me and things like that. And I don't think people realize that I'm like the most introverted person I think you can ever meet. I struggle so hard to make friends. And I think people have this thing where they're like, oh, YouTubers are the most outgoing people in the world, which might be true for some people. But for me, I definitely like, I use, it's completely different talking to thousands of people to a camera rather than actually being in a classroom, you know, and talking to people. So yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to talk about that because I thought it would be an interesting topic to talk about. The uh, imposter syndrome of a YouTubers. I just, I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't see why, I, I don't know why I deserve to be here. And I'm utterly grateful, as I said at the start, to be where I am and things like that. And at the same time, I always say that and people always come back to me. Like my, my family who knows the work that I put into this, my friends as well, they always come back to me and they're like, what are you talking about? You work so many hours in a week and things like that. There's a lot of stuff that I do that you guys don't see, which includes filming videos and never uploading them because I didn't think they were good enough and things like that. A lot of work goes into YouTubers and YouTubers work and stuff. So I have respect for YouTubers and that's why I kind of like supporting small creators and things like that because yeah, I know what it's like to be a smaller creator. And honestly, like I'm still kind of a smaller grader in the big picture of YouTube kind of thing. Um, I don't know if I want to change this horse's mane. I don't know if I should, I should probably watch the video to see if they changed it so we could get as close as possible. All right, so I think they left the main style here actually the same. So I am going to keep it like this so we can have the actual, the actual phoenix in our home stable. Oh my gosh. So here we have the liver chestnut. Honestly, the more I've seen these Welsh ponies around and things like that, the more I really love them. I really like their animations and everything. So yeah, here we have this horse. I think the yellow is actually really stunning on this horse. I don't know. I'm happy with this outfit and I literally just threw it together. This is a really cute horse. All right, so now let's go home and get on Peridot?
Peridot? I'm gonna struggle with this name. <laughs> My eye is twitching. It's been twitching like the entire time I was talking about being a YouTuber. I don't know if you guys could tell. It was kind of annoying. <laughs> Right, here we have, yeah, it is Peridot. Look at me go. This is Peridot. Peridot has some nice, I think it's green eyes, isn't it? Yeah, green eyes. So we might do a bit of a green outfit for this horse, maybe? I think that I like the other outfit more than this outfit, I'm going to be honest. All right, so I just went and checked and, oh, is it Mackenzie who bought this horse? I think it's Mackenzie. <laughs> And they bought the long braids for this horse. So we're going to go ahead over to Fergrove and buy the long braids for Peridot. I think I like the yellow outfit a bit better. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this outfit. I'm going to be honest. I, yeah, I kind of gave up. <laughs> the green was just really difficult to match. My sister's going to be calling me in 13 minutes. I keep like mistiming my videos and I just keep recording for so much longer than I expected. All right. Luckily, we have enough star coins to buy the long braids. There we go. <gasps> Peridot! Mackenzie, I stole your horse. I stole your horse. <laughs> this is Peridot. Honestly, I really like this horse. I think my outfit is ruining it. There's some weird shadow glitches happening. That's okay. This is fine. Yeah, I really like this horse as well. I think the textures on this horse are really cool. I can't function anymore. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love the uh, tail details on this horse and how there's like this gradient. I really like the tail on this horse. I think that's really pretty. Yeah, I also really like the main colors on this horse as well. Just, you know, little input, input. I can't speak into my opinions on these horses. Let me know in the comments below if you have more than 523 star coins. A couple of times when I've been like lower on star coins, people like to tell me in the comments below. I never thought I'd be more rich than just another pixel. So let me know, are you more rich than me right now? <laughs> but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. We're gonna do a quick race here just whilst I wrap it up. But I just wanted to say if you do want to go ahead and check out their videos. You can definitely go check them out. I'll be linking them in the comments below. Thank you guys for responding to my community post and letting me steal your horse, even though you had no idea what was going on, but I kind of wanted to keep it that way. I got to keep my good video ideas to myself sometimes, you know. <laughs> Let me know if I should do this again if we get any other breeds that come out. I did something similar where I stole my subscribers' horses when, like, they sold them. They sold horses, so I bought horses that you guys had sold. Did I explain that well? I don't know, but you can go check out that video as well. Let me know if I should do that again, because that was actually really fun. You know, I got to give your horses a better home and things like that, which I thought was a really fun idea. I enjoyed making that video as well. I level two. There we go. With that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I hope you are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching and continuing to support me. I really appreciate it. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.